Okay, guys, in the vase we've got a Kamazan B400. Try to, try to measure. Size 14. And for the thread, I'm using a Glowbright. And you can see that very good, but it's a number 11. It's like in a fluoro, fluoro yellow, I would say. So like, you want to go pretty far around the butt because you want to just make a wee, uh, just a wee target for the fish to kind of hone in on. Just like that. Uh, for the rib, I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is a 0.3mm pearl rib. I actually sell this stuff in my store online uh, on eBay. It's really, really good stuff, especially these these kind of flies where you want to try and keep the bulk down. Okay, so now we've got some hairs here, dubbing. This is some stuff I've blended myself. I've got a wee bit, of, a wee bit of sparkle through it. Just a wee bit of. Uh, a bit of glitz, not too much. And I want this fairly thin, don't want to go, don't want to go too heavy on it. Just a nice wee tapered body. That's about right. And we'll bring our Rib up, opposite way from our uh, thread. It just helps to hold the fly together as well. I mean, it, it's one of these flies that once you've two or three fish on it, it could get away for you a wee bit. Uh, some of them, some of them last two or three fish. Some of them last ten, fifteen. It just depends. Uh, now. Foam eyes. I'm making a mixing it up between the, the white and the yellow and the the orange. I think we'll just for this one we'll just stick with white. These are five, I think they're five mil or six six mil maybe. Oh no, these are thinner. No, they're about they're about three or four mil. Uh, and I just want to make away the edge. You can see this, but it's what you Rip away the edge a wee bit. Some people tie these in first. I, I don't find it uh, makes any difference to be honest. Let's catch that in. Make sure you've left a wee bit of room here. That's right. If you've not left room, you just tease it back. It doesn't have to be perfect. Get a wee bit more of your dubbing. Just a wee, just a wee lump behind it, and then you want to come in front by two or three turns. And that just helps to just cop the, cop the foam up. Whip finish tool. You can tell I'm not used to using one of these. I normally do it by hand, but one and roll. Look it. It happens to the best of us. Turn that away. Then Basically deciding what kind of length you want. I mean, I've, I've been tying them all different lengths. Uh, that's probably about five or six mil. 
I'll be slightly more than that. Uh, you can see the ones I've been tying here. Uh, don't know how well you can see that, but they've all got slightly different sizes of heads, and, and you need that. You need that because uh, sometimes you want to fish uh, fly a wee bit higher in the water. Some you want more or less sinking, more or less sinking slowly. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, thanks very much. Cheers.